All right, so now we're gonna be uh, performing the part of tray care where we're doing the actual cleaning. Now remember, I have, my I have my disposable gloves on. So what I need to do is take off my disposable gloves, right? And I'll go wash my hands. So off camera, I'm gonna go over to the sink, uh, perform hand washing for 15 seconds, uh, take the paper towels I need, make sure that I'm taking the paper towel to um, uh, um, close the stream of the water. And now I'm back. And what I wanna do here is I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put these gloves on that come with the kit. Now these happen to be sterile, but I think what we need to know is that this can just be an aseptic procedure. But I'll go ahead and just for review, put this on a, um, like with sterile technique. And now I st currently I have two sterile hands. So what I'm gonna do is pick up my sterile field And I'm literally just placing the contents of the um, kit on my sterile field. I'm gonna be using all of this. I don't use the little pipe cleaners, but what we have here is the pre-cut. This is gonna what gonna be what you finish up with. I can use this gauze for. Uh, cleaning around the tray. I use the pipe cleaner for sure um, when I am cleaning the inner cannula and I am using the cotton tipped, um, dipped in the sterile water um, to clean around the tray. So while my inner cannula is um, in here, what I can do is I can take one of the cotton tipped applicators and I'm going to take it from the clean side with the where I would rinse from, right? So I would do that and I would just start going around the trach. In here. And you can go on the outside. You can even get kind of on the flat part. What you want to avoid is getting the cotton tip applicator on the inside of the trach. You can also get underneath the flange on the top as well as underneath here. And I recommend that you do so because that can get kind of um, crusty and uh, we don't want to encourage any skin breakdown. So we want to make sure that this is kept nice and clean. So you have two cotton tipped applicators you can do that with. You can also take one of your uh, extra gauze and get that and just kind of clean around here as well. Just kind of make sure that that's nice and just the way you want it. and make, you can get rid of that. Now it would be, so once this is just the way you want it, what you can do now is I would pick up my pot cleaner and I would pick up the non-disposable inner cannula. And literally this is just moving through the inner cannula to make sure what we're doing here is making sure that there is no crusted mucus on the inside of the nasal or of the uh, inner cannula, because that is going to cause respiratory distress for your patient. Um, we want to make sure that the the airway that this patient has is as patent as possible. All right, so um, you'll be able to see how good how good a job you're doing, and when you feel like you have gotten everything that you need uh, cleaned off here, then. Um, stick it in the, I'm gonna just throw my, uh, throw that away. I'm just going to rinse this. And this would be, uh, I could put this back on here just to dab it. 
and get that ready to put back in.